joining us. Uh, it's been a while since we conducted a Zoom media session, so just a few reminders before we get underway. Please remain on mute until you have been notified to ask a question. Please use the raise your hand option when you would like to speak with Mika. Once you've asked your question, we ask that you return to mute so we have the best audio quality. And finally, we are streamed live on calgaryflames.com today. Calgary Flames announced today the retirement of Mika Kiprusoft's number 34. The ceremony and celebration to raise Mika's number 34 to the Raptors at the Scotiabank Saddledome will take place on Saturday, March 2nd, when the Flames play host to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Congratulations and welcome, Mika. And with that, we'll get directly into some Q&A, a reminder to use the raise your hand function when you have a question. We'll go to Moses Waldo with Global TV. Go ahead, Moses. Thanks, Peter, and congratulations, uh, Mika. I don't know if you had an idea of uh, when this would come or it ever was a thought in your head, but just for the fact that, you know, you are now going to have your number retired, what does that mean to you and what have the emotions been like over the last little while? Well, it's it means a lot for me and my family. It's, uh, it's a big thing and, uh, you know, I know, it's been, uh, since I hear about it, it's been cool, you know, it's uh, a lot of memories, you know, a little nervous, but still can't wait to come over to see, uh, you know, all all the players and uh, fans and owners, everybody there. It's, uh, it's going to be fun and uh, yeah, I'm honored. It's huge for me. Moses, do you have a follow up? Uh, yes, if that's uh, that's all right. Absolutely. Um, yeah, um, Mika, can you take me through like how this process worked out? Uh, was this something that has been going on for a while that was in talks? And you know, who reached out to you um, first? I guess when it comes to former teammates, uh, to kind of give you the congratulations when hearing the news. Actually, this is pretty new right now. It's uh, uh, I think uh, Flames they came out with this uh, today and. Uh, uh, I hear about it uh, a few weeks ago. I don't, I don't remember exact when it was, but uh, Peter, Peter Hanel called me, and uh, you know, I, I was, uh, you know, when he told me about this, I was kind of speechless. I didn't know what to say, but uh, so I guess I can use now my. Now I can uh, say what uh, what I think. Like I really like to, really like to thank the. Owners and uh, Flames organizations about this, it uh, means a lot for me. And, uh, you know, it, it came out in Finland just like an hour ago and uh, my phone has been ringing. So it's, yeah. it's cool. Thank you, Moses. We'll go to Ryan Pike. Hi, Mika. Congratulations. Um, you mentioned memories. Are there any, you know, handful of memories or anything that really stands out to you from, from your time at the flames? Yeah. Uh, of course it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of memories, uh, you know, uh, I remember day when I get traded and I arrived there, I was so excited about it. And, uh, but, uh, of course, I think biggest, biggest thing is of course that, uh, Oh, four, run uh, it was amazing amazing team lots of fun so i think that's the top of the list Do you have a follow up ryan no i'm good thank you go to wes gilbertson go ahead wes congratulations mika thanks, thanks. We, thank you we only see you know a, a couple or or maybe a few of these Jersey retirement ceremonies anywhere around the NHL in any given season. I'm, I'm wondering, are you able to describe what it means to a player to, to know that his Jersey is going to be raised to the rafters? Yeah, it's actually, it's hard. <laughs> it's, uh, 
means so much. You know, it's uh, I think it's biggest honor you can get as a player. You know, I'm uh, you know when you play a long time in one organization and uh, and after that you when I get this, it's uh, uh, it's huge. It's uh, like I don't know how what to say. It's the uh, greatest honor you can get, and I'm so so happy and proud of that. I know you mentioned when you first got the news from Peter, you were kind of speechless. Have you given much thought to how you'll address Flames fans that night and, and what you might have to say to, to the arena? You know, I haven't, I haven't think about it that too much, you know. I guess everybody knows uh, giving speeches is not probably my best part of my <laughs> hockey. But, uh, you know, I will do it and it, uh, I bet it's going to be an unbelievable day or two there. It's, uh, you know, can't wait. It's, uh, can't wait to be on ice with my old teammates and, uh, you know, family and everything. So, yeah, I know we'll see, but it's going to be fun for sure. And if I can just ask one more, if you don't mind, I'm not sure how old your your two boys are now, but what do you... You know, when you talk about your time in, in Calgary, what do you share with them? Yeah, my, they are now older one. He's 18, so he was there uh, uh, quite a bit. He, he was able to see some games, but the younger one, the younger one he's 10 now. So he he was born there my last year. He saw some games and, uh, you know, we, we stayed there one year after. So. Uh, He's a true Canadian. He has passport and everything. So uh, it's uh, it's gonna be cool for them and uh, too. And they they always wanna come Calgary and Canada. They uh, they know what it means, what Calgary and Canada means for our family, and uh, that's that's great. Jamie McLennan from uh, TSN actually raised his hand without using the Zoom function. So go ahead, Jamie. Unmute yourself and go ahead. <laughs> You're muted, Jamie. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll come back to Jamie if you can't figure out the unmute button. I unmuted now. Oh, you're good. You're good. Can you hear me now? We got you. Okay, I have one question. Now that you are getting retired, who is maybe would I make your top five backups of all time? For sure, you know, <laughs> it's uh, not soaking around now, you know, the, for sure, number one there, it's, uh, it was a pleasure, it was fun to play with you, and uh, great goalie partner, for sure, thanks for that. Honestly, I couldn't be prouder, buddy, We're very happy for you, I can't wait for uh, to fly in in March, but I, I'm in Milan right now in Italy, we're just hanging out to fly home tomorrow, but I just wanted to say congrats, you're the best, buddy. Thanks. Enjoy, Nuda. <laughs> okay. We'll see you soon. I'm going back on mute. <laughs> All right. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next, we'll go to Donna Spencer. Go ahead, Donna. Hi, Mika. Congratulations. Hi. Thanks. I guess um, uh, Wes answered my question about your children, so I'll come up with another question. And I think what's interesting is um, you're being honored by the Flames at a time when your former teammate has now taken over as general manager. And uh, I guess, did you see um, Craig Conroy in this role when uh, he was your teammate? Could you have predicted that? Yeah, you know what? He is. Uh, Connie is a smart hockey guy. And uh, I think everybody had feeling he he going to... After playing career, he's gonna keep keep on with hockey, and uh, you know it's been uh, fun to follow him. You know he's been uh, working a lot, you know, learning so many years, and uh, I think he's ready now, and uh, can't wait to follow him and see his moves. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Donna. Just a reminder: if you have a question, please use the raise your hand function. I don't see any other, any other hands. 
Okay, go ahead again, Moses. Yeah, thanks again, Peter. I just have one more thing uh, to ask, uh, if you, you don't mind, uh, Mika. I know um, Mini Kipper has been, a, you know, I guess that icon that was behind you that idolized you in a way. It's been 10 years, but I don't know if you have a message to send. I don't know if you have a message to uh, send to him at all, but just your thoughts on uh, just thoughts on that. And, you know, kind of like the, the fans appreciation and love for you. And, and uh, I guess his name is Brendan now. He's a little bit older, obviously, but just uh, your thoughts on that. You know, of course, I, I want to say hi to him. Yeah, uh, he was great there. Always it was so much fun. And uh, actually, uh, my my friend who is living in Calgary met met the mini keeper just uh, not long ago, and uh, that's uh, that's super cool. Hopefully, I see him there too when I come over. Thank you. Thanks. We'll go back to Wes Gilbertson. Go ahead, Wes. Thanks, Peter. Just one more, Mika. I'm I'm curious. Do you do you ever get on the ice anymore? Whether that's as as goalie or or just on skates? No, I, I haven't been. Actually, that was that uh, plot Calgary plot there, and uh, I lost my goalie equipment there. They were still at the room in the dressing room, so so I haven't been. I played a little bit out left wing for one year there, and. Uh, uh, I was pretty good, actually, but yeah, I haven't been beating the pipes since uh, my last game, and uh, you know, I I'm not a big fan of uh, playing goalie when it uh, game doesn't matter, and uh, so yeah, I go outdoors, skate a little bit, but not as goalie. If uh, if Conroy needs a left winger, can he can he look you up or? Oh yeah, he knows my number. I'm here, <laughs> ready. <laughs> Okay, we'll just take a pause and see if there's any more questions. I don't see any in the queue. Ryan Dietrich, do you see any on your end? No, sir. Okay. Well, if uh, we don't have any more questions, we'll we'll conclude there. And uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, over the next uh, few months, we'll be providing more detail as we get closer to the celebration date of March 2nd, uh, other events and activities to celebrate Mika's career and, and uh, Calgary Flames legacy. So again, thank you very much for joining us and uh, goodbye. Thank you, Mika. Thank you.